News 19 nerds are back. This time we're at Cosmic Rays on Divine. Uh, are we in this is Columbia, right? Still this Columbia? Always right. still in Columbia. Don't, don't try that. Sometimes we're in West Columbia. Sometimes we're in Irmo. Today we are in Columbia. See, that's why I keep you around. All right, so let's kick it off with DC. Action Comics 975. Uh, this is the end of the Superman Reborn storyline. We found out that Mitzelplex was the Clark Kent playing a trick on Superman. There's a couple of big reveals at the end of this. Um, I really like Jonathan Kent in this book. Check it out. Nice issue. All right. Uh, let's hop on over to Marvel. Unworthy Thor, number five, last issue in this miniseries. We've been waiting pretty much two years to find out what made Thor unworthy. Um, this is a very interesting book because it ends one story and then at the last two pages it pretty much starts another one um what happened to jane is thor. jane foster is still thor she became worthy after thor became unworthy nick fury whispered something in his ear that made him unworthy we finally find that out in this book it's taken us two years uh so check this out i like the real i really love the last two pages um my personal favorite, Invincible Iron Man, Riri Williams. I'm really liking Tony Stark and Riri's combination. Uh, I really like Infamous Iron Man as well with Doctor Doom. Uh, this is a great book. I love the way it's written. I love the way it looks. I really love this book. I can't talk more about it. As an origin story, this is awesome. Um, I think you can't talk enough about it. What did I say? You said you can't talk more about it. You can talk more about it. Well, that's why I keep you around. Good catch. catch. Yeah. All right, make sure that gets in there. All right, so Iron Fist, the Netflix show, came out Friday. Here's the book. So Power Man and Iron Fist, the story, the book is going to be discontinued. They're going to cancel it. And Luke Cage and Iron Fist are going to get their own book. So Iron Fist, Danny Rand gets his book. Luke Cage gets his own book with Power Man. All right, so this is the first issue. Quick question. The show was not well received. What would make me want to pick up the comic book? The Danny ran in the show, in my Ray opinion, and what and Ray needs the money. And number Ray one, money. Ray always needs money. OK, S two. Yeah. A number, a big number two. Danny ran in the comics is written better than he was written in the show. In the show, I'll be honest with you, in the comics, he's aloof. In the show, he came off as stupid. And I'm I'm sorry. I, I'm really not a fan. I haven't watched all of it yet, but I would give give the book a try. He's a very lovable character, very fun. He plays, he really plays well off of Luke Cage, who's the straight man where Danny is the goofy guy. Um, the book that I can't, I could not wait for, Valiant is relaunching Exo Man at War, the book that started their whole relaunch years ago. Um, this book is beautiful. The art is great. This, I, I could not wait for this title. Check out these pages. That's amazing. So, call your comic shop, whoever you go to. If it's Ray, call Ray. If it's Seven SI, if it's Apocalypse, whoever you go to, call your store, uh, whoever does the ordering for you. These things will sell out quick. Um, this is the last one on the shelf, actually. So, I'm picking this up for myself. You want to talk to whoever runs your store because subscriptions are how they decide, how they figure out ordering. So if you want to get an issue and you don't want to be left out, tell them to get you a subscription, put you on the subscription form. All right. So that's the comics for this week. Uh, this weekend, you have uh, SC Comic Con in Greenville through the 25th or 26th. You've got a lot of big name people coming. Um, we'll be there. Hopefully. Yeah. I mean, we're not big name. I mean, we hope you see us there walking around, wandering, trying to haggle with people, getting stuff. Um, Barb from Stranger Things is going to be there. She's uh, the actress was also in Riverdale, uh, the Archie show. Um, I heard Mike Zek is supposed to be there. Uh, Frank Cho, one of my favorite artists, is going to be there. Sanford's going to be there. Sanford, Sanford. Green. Thank you. I, I, I got it. Uh, Chris Sims and Chad Bowers. Uh, maybe Steve Epting uh, from Valiant, uh, not Valiant, um, Velvet. A lot of people. A lot of people. I could stay here and name a lot of people. So check out, let us know what you think about uh, the Iron Fist. I'm three episodes in. Uh, it's, it's honestly to me one of the weaker shows. It's better than Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. when it first started. But Michael says that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. now was better than what Iron Fist is. So give us your opinion. Tell us what you think. 
Uh, SC Comic Con is this weekend. Very what, said that. I was going to segue into also WonderCon is this weekend. So if we have any wonder people going to WonderCon, let us know. See? Stop Where can they let us know? Huh? Where can they let us know? At News19 Nerds. On Twitter. On t I was getting it. See? Stop it. You just, you're trying to get me. You're trying to bait me. And what's the hashtag? You're, it's working. Uh, News19 is simple. Well, yeah.